Uh, hey, what is going on guys? Um, I apologize for not uploading for the past four days. And that was because I was actually on a family trip where my whole family was basically invited to go to some like cottage trip. You know, not one that any of us own per se, but something that was like rented, I guess. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, I promise to, I guess, kind of make up for it over the next week and hopefully stick to a proper schedule. But on the bright side, it kind of gave me more material to talk about. And just overall, this whole trip having to interact with, you know, family and extended family kind of made me realize, um, you know, just how friggin' difficult it is to normie LARP. So you might be wondering exactly what I mean by normie LARPing and you know even sort of ironically I've seen one or two comments asking if I'm LARPing or calling me a LARPer a neat LARPer but it's in reality it's actually the complete opposite I'm a normie LARPer when I have to see other people who are normies like family for example or I guess if I'm at the grocery store or you know back when I was trying to get back into school and the reason I engage in this because someone some people might be also wondering why don't you just admit that you're a neat or open up about your struggles as a neat tell them what neat means and the reason for that is because well you know if you do this then quite frankly people especially normies uh, lose their effing minds and it would be nice if you know maybe they could be a little bit more understanding and you know there's a handful of people out there who are like this but the vast majority of people are extremely quick to judge and you know the moment you put up put a label on yourself uh and like for example let's say you're having trouble with women and you don't get laid for like i don't know a couple of months so you're technically an incel but the moment you put that label on yourself, then all of a sudden, just like it's how the human brain works, like it just draws all these associations and then in their minds they are thinking, wow, this guy is fucking active shooter status is about to go to my local school and, um, you know, put some bullet holes in the classroom. Um, and, you know, that's not entirely true. Like, I'm pretty sure most people of that nature don't want to do that stuff and at the same time it's the same thing as true of neatum if you tell people you're if you tell people you're neat or explain to them what neat is you know maybe they come up with the maybe they come up with the um associations right and then there or maybe they look up what it means to be neat but then regardless of what happens they do come up with these associations and they might think Oh wow, this guy is a useless drain on society. Um, you know, lazy, doesn't want have any ambitions in life, which is I guess true of some needs, but it goes further. Like, you know, these people deserve to be just deserve to die. They're they're useless, they're pieces of shit, they they're it's their fault, they have bad character, there's nothing, they were just born bad and you know, they we should just give up on them, blah blah blah. You know, all these it's the same you know thing basically and you know given that i am still at the age where there still is a little bit of hope for me i feel like revealing that i may need to people especially in my in my family and extended family um well that would be equivalent to me burning bridges with them and you know maybe in the future i would possibly need their help i guess and as selfish as that sounds that's just reality in my opinion and, you know, I feel like at this point in my life, it really does no good to burn those bridges. So I feel like young needs, young needs out there listening, you know, maybe hold off on telling uh, significant others um, about your um, your current status as a need or at least don't put the label on it. But instead, you know, maybe speak in these broader terms like for example you know i'm struggling with depression and anxiety i have um you know i'm struggling to find work i have difficulties talking with people and it's making it speak in these 
broad terms and avoid at all costs uh, putting a label on yourself uh, because, well, that just leads to disaster regardless of what it is, mental illness, you know, even some health conditions, you know, like, but yeah, that's my point. So that is my justification for not revealing my need to, um, you know, maybe I'm full of shit, maybe I have bad character, but anyways, I digressed big time. Um, back to the main point. Well, um, yeah, so basically, it's basically leads to a lot of awkward situations where, you know, people are, well, one example of me, Normie LARPing, would be, um, you know, when obviously they kind of know that I'm not doing anything with my life, but, you know, they always ask, so what are your plans? So are you planning to go back to school? Um, you know, what are you doing right now? And these are sort of questions that I guess they're trying to scout out if you're in need maybe, or if you're worth, um, if you're worth their attention or time or, you know, they're gauging your social status and your potential utility to them, I guess. It's a, I guess, biological, whatever, biological, psychologically driven sort of behavior. But yeah, they ask these questions and, well, you know what I do? I just fucking lie my ass off. I go, oh yeah, yeah, uh, you know, I have plans. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I've been looking into programs for this and that. Oh, you know, I'm working on my music right now. I really want to make it big in the music industry, which I guess is kind of true, but you know, I, I make up all these, um, you know, ex reasons and, you know, potential plans like, oh yeah, I'm looking into uh, becoming a psychologist. You know, I just, I found, I'm looking at programs that allow me to be a counselor in, you know, two to three years versus having to take grad school. And I come up, you know, I make the uh, typical, like, I guess, like excuses, because I guess that's what they are. And well, you know, they probably can sense that as bullshit, but you know, it's better than just straight up telling them that you've given up because the moment you tell them that, you know, well, it's over for you, then they just freaking lose their minds and, you know, they mistreat you even more. And, you know, as a need, um, I feel like it's important to manage the, the external stress <clears throat> in your environment as much as possible and introducing new ones, like for example, family members berating you, talking behind your back, or even just outright insulting you. Um, well, that's just an added stress that nobody wants, let alone needs. So yeah, that's one example of me normally LARPing. Another is, well, you know, given that I suffer from Asperger's and pretty severe social anxiety and a host of other mental illnesses, um, well, part of normie LARPing is, I guess, LARPing, live action role playing, being some neurotypical normal human being. And, you know, it's really difficult because as these suffering from these conditions, well, it's really hard to fit into crowds because I feel like normal, most normies, you know, they're able to do their normie socializing things and it comes so naturally to them. Like, it's almost like instinct, like, I can't fucking snap. That's a bad example, but they're like, you know, well, okay, I'm probably going to butcher this and it's probably going to be, you know, cringe lol kind of material, but it's kind of like, like, oh, hey, buddy, buddy, yeah, the, <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy, yeah, oh, yeah, did you see, how, how is the weather today? Oh, yeah, wow, the lake is so nice, the water, blah, 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 how did I, nah, oh, yeah, oh, let me tell a little joke here, a little, a little quip here and there, a little, uh, little joke, jokey joke. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, uh, hey. Fuck, okay. <laughs> Clearly I'm losing my damn mind, but I feel like you guys kind of know what I mean. Like, it's less about what they're saying, but it's more about, you know, keeping the vibe, like the vibe, the energy, whatever you want to call it, like uplifted and, you know, light and casual and whatnot. And, you know, as someone suffering from like depression sometimes, but mostly like Asperger's firstly, and, and severe social anxiety, like the social anxiety really gets in the way of uh, keeping the vibe up as well as the Asperger's because that kind of controls facial expressions because you're always sort of expected to smile and use a proper intonation, enunciate your words, 
and speak clearly, which I can't do when I'm in public. I mean, I can't even do kind of right now, let alone in public. And um, yeah, it's basically the same thing where it just, these things make it impossible to, to speak in that sort of light, like casual, like normie, like tone and speak, make the normally small talk and talk about random stuff and make these like little jokes every two or three sentences so that everybody's oh ha 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 like fucking laughing and shit which you know i kind of sound like i'm i'm bashing them for doing this stuff but you know you know maybe i'm a little bit better but in all in all uh truthfulness like i'm I'm not even trying to hide this like i really want to be that way i really want to do these normie things like my life would be ten thousand billion times easier 10 billion times easier if i could just do all the normie like casual small talk and you know talk about you know the semi fake deep but actually shallow things like like their feelings or i don't know is that deep i guess maybe it is i just can't comprehend it like talk about my feelings and you know oh yeah oh blah 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 no you know and do all the empathetic stuff but what i end up sounding like is um well obviously i can do it to maybe like five percent so i can go oh yeah haha ha, ha. but it's even worse than what i'm doing now it's like i can't i can barely smile but i can just do it barely where i'm i'm <laughs> i'm i'm laughing all the jokes and i do my nervous little social anxiety low status beta laugh every time i make sentence trying to qualify myself i guess and you know signal to everybody that I'm, that I'm a low status human being and that the tribe shouldn't hurt me you know all that stuff but you know i'm able to do it to that extent but you know it's just so fucking hard to do it properly like do it 100 percent properly and well another example is really to do with like what actually is being said because quite frankly as someone maybe it's my asperger's maybe it's my i don't know my whatever conditions but you know I find it really extremely hard to relate to normies so i kind of just have to pretend to agree along or just be tr- pretend to be curious about the things that they're um i guess into because maybe it's out of politeness like um like i don't know like their edm music and like yoga and stuff and stuff like that and you know I maybe find it a little bit interesting, but not to the point where I could really engage in a deep conversation or want to if I actually could. And also, it's not even that. It's like most of the time they're just talking about these small talk, like shallow topics and commenting on things that are in the moment. Whereas my mind, with as neurotic as it is, is, you know, if I'm not worrying about being judged which i am like 90 percent of the time i'm just my mind's all over the place thinking about like random shit or things that i'm actually interested in like i don't know like video games anime music plugins and like random shit like that and um yeah that just makes it infinitely harder so oftentimes i'll have these conversations and maybe you know they'll talk about something that i could maybe contribute to right like um like i don't know like maybe politics or like even something like facts about animals because my brain is a repository for an infinite amount of useless information and vocabulary so i might be able to chip in but there's also the fact that if you go too deep in then people think you're nerding out and if you don't say it with enough excitement in your voice then people like tune out and they go oh yeah and then they kind of tune out you can kind of tell in their facial expressions and it's just so effing discouraging and just yeah like it makes me not want to talk to people honestly and or and also there's a fact that i just act like a complete creep a lot of the time because of my low or partially due to the way i look and present myself but also because of the way i act because of years of bullying and you know bad social interactions where i act like low status and you know if 
I were some extremely good looking person, then maybe it wouldn't really matter. But the fact of the matter is I'm not. And um, well, when people witness the way I act, they, I basically give off like creep vibes. And it honestly just seems like everybody thinks that I'm gonna like go postal or like they're always on edge and they're always like, oh yeah, hmm, hmm. Like, you know, that kind of like fake smile that they're giving to like as if they're trying to appease you, as if I don't notice that they're creeped out by me. And you know, I wish I wasn't so fucking like effed up and I could just do all the normie stuff because I can't, if I could do all that normie stuff, then they wouldn't act, they would maybe act better towards me and you know maybe that's something i need to work on my fucking social skills but how the hell do you practice social skills without talking to people but when you talk to people they treat they at best give you this <laughs> or they ignore you what you say they ignore what i say sometimes like they just straight out straight up ignore what i'm saying and you know it's it's just really freaking discouraging so long story short, um, yeah, normie LARPing is incredibly difficult. The, just the amount of effort that has to go into live action role playing a normie when you are, I guess, suffering from all these different conditions, even with just like the Asperger's, let, a, let alone as what am I saying? What am I even saying? Like, you know, even just for like the Asperger's alone, it's already hard enough to LARP as a neurotypical person. But then with all the other stuff combined and being neat, not being jobless, because let's, oh yeah, because everybody talks about their, you know, their jobs and their careers and, oh, I'm doing this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like these casual exchanges of societal value that people engage in where they talk about, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. My, my, oh yeah, I'm making blah, 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 blah. Oh, so I taught a class today, my clients, blah, blah, oh, my client, my client, 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 yada, 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 you know, yeah. And then when you have nothing to say and oh, you tell them what you're doing, because sometimes I do actually take my music seriously, but you tell them that and they're like, oh, mm, that, oh, nice, mm, that's interesting. And then they don't ask the follow up questions, whereas they would ask that to everybody else because. I don't know, maybe it's just my, ins I'm projecting my insecurities on people, but you know, I think it's partly because while well, they don't see any value in what I'm doing, I'm not a, I'm not a cog in the machine. I'm not, I'm not plugged into the matrix. I'm not part of, I'm not contributing to society. I guess I'm not, but is society even worth contributing to? I guess it is partly, but you know, I want to contribute to it in my way. Well, you know, maybe there's, is a pretty good argument for why it's not worth contributing to, but that's an entire different subject of discussion. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end the video now. I've probably been talking for a while, and um, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, um, I don't know, this video, and if you like what you've seen, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get back on the, on the YouTube grind and put out some good content for, y'all and uh yeah peace